for several races there's been a sense of unease within Aston Martin, with concerns mounting over the perceived disparity in how FIA race stewards adjudicate decisions involving their drivers. Alonso found himself facing a penalty in Australia for what was deemed potentially hazardous driving, as his drastic deceleration into a corner triggered an incident involving George Russell's pursuing Mercedes. The Spaniard encountered further sanction in China, this time for a sideways brush with Carlos Sainz during the sprint race, while Stroll incurred penalty for rear-ending Daniel Ricciardo under the safety car, leaving team principal Mike Crack feeling exasperated and unduly treated. It's pertinent to highlight that Aston Martin's appeal to the FIA stewards for a review in China, backed by onboard footage, was summarily dismissed, with stewards deeming it lacking incredible new evidence. In the Miami sprint, Alonso found himself at the receiving end of a forceful manoeuvre from Lewis Hamilton at the race's outset, resulting in a multi-car fracas involving teammate Lance Stroll and McLaren's Lando Norris. Following deliberation, stewards concluded, while the sequence of events appeared initiated by cars 14 and 18, the sudden entry of car 44 exacerbated the multiple collisions. Nevertheless, we couldn't attribute blame solely or primarily to any driver for the incidents, or any single one of them. Stewards clarified their approach, indicating a marginally more forgiving stance towards first corner incidents compared to those occurring later in a race. Disappointed by the decision to not penalise Hamilton, Alonso added that it is because he isn't Spanish. I do feel that nationality matters, and I will speak with Mohammed, with the FIA, whatever. I need to make sure that there isn't anything wrong with my nationality or anything that can influence any decision, not only for me, also for the future generation of Spanish drivers. They need to be protected. I had to open the gap, because Hamilton was coming from the inside without control of the car. If I do that, for sure I get a penalty. Alonso's frustration further mounted after a lacklustre qualifying performance at the Miami International Autodrome, exiting Q2 in 15th amidst the fierce midfield competition. The question arises, is Alonso justified in feeling aggrieved, and were stewards correct in refraining from penalising Lewis Hamilton? Does a discernible bias persist within F1 favouring certain drivers? Indeed, we've witnessed Lewis Hamilton finding himself entangled in FIA, stewarding controversies and missteps on several occasions.